All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for us to play our brand new game. This was inspired on Friday night while I was watching uh, the Jeopardy finale with with um, Alex Trebek, his final episode before he passed, and at the same time reading reports of Donald Trump getting censored on social media. And at that moment, I came up with this great idea for a fantastic new game called America's in Jeopardy. Yeah. And uh, it's played much like Jeopardy. We're going to meet our contestants here in just a second, and we'll see if they can um, if they can outdo each other by answering. I'm sorry, by giving answers to questions that you find. Wait, no, by giving questions to answers. This is very tricky. I don't know how Alex Trebek did it for 30 years. And our first contestant is Barry. Barry, good morning. How are you? Good morning. You're going to be playing against Cheryl in Jacksonville. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, doing great. All right. Our first category is backstabbing Republicans. Our next category is bat crap crazy Democrats. Our third category is socialist media networks. And our fourth and final category is birds. Okay, I'll take backstabbing Republicans for 300. Backstabbing Republicans for 300. All right, here is your answer. Please provide us a question. After standing next to President Trump at a ca campaign rally last Monday and promising ob to object to the electoral votes, she lost her Senate race on Tuesday and folded like a cheap card table on Wednesday, Wednesday by voting to certify the election of Joe Biden. Uh, what is uh, Kelly Loeffler? We would have accepted who is, but what is also correct. Congratulations. Uh, you're on. See how easy this is, Barry? I, I was born for this game. <laughs> you sure are. You got $300. Uh, we go to you, Cheryl. Which category and dollar amount would you like? Uh, social media network for 300 Socialist media networks for $300? Let me grab it. Yeah, no, I get it. It's fine. Here we go. Uh, this socialist media network banned Trump this weekend, which means he will no longer be able to save photos of cute bathroom remodels, kids' party ideas, or charcuterie platters. What is Twitter? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Would you like, would you like to tie it, try, take a crack at it, Barry? Uh, what is Facebook? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Correct answer is Pinterest. 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 Twitter, oh, okay. Twitter banned him as well. But if you're going to pin, uh, you know, kids' party ideas and charcuterie, that's all about that's all about Pinterest. All right, back to you, Barry. Are you ready? Uh, the bad crab crazy Democrats for three hundred. All right, I like how you guys go right for the big money too. Here we go. He he is the oldest rich white male in history that the party of diversity has ever elected president of the United States. What is, who is Joe Biden? Look at that, man. Look at that. Good job. You are up to $600. All right, Cheryl. Uh, backstabbing Republicans, bat crap, crazy Democrats, socialist media networks, or birds? Uh, birds for 300 <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> Are you sure? You didn't sound very... All right, here we go. Uh, listen carefully. <laughs> this bird, in addition to uh, tweeting out the hours of the day, could be used to adequately describe pretty much every elected Democrat in the United States. Oh, gosh. This bird, in addition to tweeting out the hours of the day, could be used to adequately describe pretty much every elected Democrat in the United States today. I have no idea. What is a rooster? <laughs> what, is a, what is a rooster? Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's not a rooster. Any idea, Barry? <laughs> Man, that's a tough one. Uh... What is a cuckoo is the answer we're looking for. Cuckoo. <laughs> they tweet out, you know, cuckoo. <laughs> Man, I thought that was the easy one. All right, Barry, back to you. What was the Republican one, the first one? Backstabbing Republicans. Yeah, I'll take that for $200. For $200. All right, here we go. Listen carefully. Uh, this Southern senator disavowed President Trump on the floor of the Senate, proclaiming, count me out, and was later taunted by Trump supporters, chanting, traitor, traitor, as he boarded a plane from D.C. Oh, who is uh, Lindsey Graham? You traitor! You traitor! You traitor! That is correct. That is. <laughs> Yeah, he's a traitor. That was Lindsey Graham. Very good. That was a that was a great job. You add another 200 to your total. I'll tell you what. Why don't we do like a final? Let's do a final America's in Jeopardy. I'll pull a question. You guys both get a chance to answer it. 
And uh, and uh, what you do is just call out your name. And if you call out your name first, I'll answer on you, okay? I'll call on you. All right. All right, here we go. Our final uh, question will be, let's see. Let's go with bat crap crazy Democrats uh, as our final Jeopardy question. Are you guys ready? Yes. Remember, if you know yes. the answer, yell out your name and wait to be called on. He is the Trump-hating heir to the Vanderbilt fortune who told his CNN audience that the Capitol Hill protesters were going to go celebrate later on at the Olive Garden. Anderson Cooper? They're going to go back, you know, to the Olive Garden. They're going to have some drinks, and they're going to talk about the great day that they had in Washington, and they really did something and stand up for something. And they stood up for nothing other than mayhem. That is correct. Congratulations, Cheryl. Yay, you got one right. However, you had you, there's no money attached to it. Uh, Barry, with a score of $1,100 to nothing, congratulations. You're the winner of America's in Jeopardy. Yeah. Nicely done. Woo! I can't believe I won $1,100. That's I, awesome. Oh, actually, you get a more K show prize pack. I thought, sorry, that was just, that's, that money's not real. It's, it's, it's like, you know, it's like, it's, it's like the stimulus money they're arguing over. You're not actually ever going to get it.